Oh. Hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is kind of like my Q&A video, kind of introducing myself uh, to new viewers or people that may have already known me or may not know too much about me. Um, my, my name again is Ethan Lowther. Um, I've, I'm a, as you can see from the last few videos, I work at Dutch Bros. Um, I'm about to hit about two years now in April. It's kind of crazy, <laughs> kind of looking back and like, shoot. Cause I remember when I first started, I was like, it's fresh born. I was like, how do you make a drink? And like stuff like that. And now I'm like, I guess you could say I'm one of the senior like people here now at Dutch and stuff. But yeah, I graduated from Clackamas High School about a year ago. Um, most of it through COVID and stuff, so kind of had to deal with that. Um, I'm, a, I'm a freshman student at uh, Clackamas Community College, working on my business transfer degree in hopes of transferring it over to PSU or Portland State University for a four-year degree in uh, business management. Um, my main career that I'm trying to go for right now is uh, real estate, uh, hopefully becoming a realtor. Uh, I definitely said a lot about how fast and how quick I want to get into the business and stuff. I kind of s slowed down a little bit. Kind of want to take my time and like enjoy like being like a student as much as I can, because I know kind of once I start getting real estate, I'm not going to be able to do too much like fun stuff as much. It's going to be working and stuff. And then me starting this new YouTube channel, um, I kind of want to build this first and then kind of get more quitted. Uh, with editing videos and making content for you guys as I grow this channel I'm a big car guy too if you don't know that also I'm hoping to start a car channel soon um, Once I build this channel and get more subscribers and more people to view the videos uh, Definitely create a car channel big car guy um, um, With a couple of the questions I have from you guys and stuff. I'll definitely answer uh, Some questions about Dutch Bros cars me personally that you guys have asked and just kind of like my own questions I have for myself that I'll give you guys a broader perspective of who I am and stuff First question is, what gave you the idea to start the YouTube channel slash making videos? I think for me, like, I one day I just kind of like woke up and I was like, damn, like, what am I kind of doing with my life? Starting the YouTube channel, I kind of just woke up and I was like, what is something that I could start, like, a basic following, like, just build, like, a channel of people, like, coming together and, like, I don't know, create, like, an impact, almost. And I thought, like, YouTube channel, I was like, it was in the back of my mind. Uh, I never had the gear or anything. I've never known how to start like YouTube making videos and stuff So it kind of just all was on a whim and then just kind of one day I think I think it was New Year's Eve. I kind of just like woke up uh, I didn't have to work that day. So I was just kind of thinking I was like, why not go to Best Buy and just like Just start the YouTube channel and so that's like kind of what I did was I started I went over to Best Buy and I bought the camera and the setup and everything and um, Yeah, I just like woke up. I was like, let me just go buy the camera real quick and stuff. So Oh, you brought the soda over? <laughs> Sheesh! Uh, the second question um, from one of my good friends, uh, he asks, how does it feel to be so inspirational? And for me, it it feels, it's different, because like I feel like for me, uh, I'm to be inspirational, I've always had the drive, I, I don't like to brag and stuff, but I've always felt like I've had a, like a little like, drive, like a motivation to kind of just like go and do stuff. It's definitely winding down a lot now since I've been in college and, and like I've worked so long. I kind of got the aspect of like what like the real world is kind of like in a sense, you know, like just paying like little bills. Like I got my own car loan. I had a second job also working at Dutch for a few months where I was doing property management and that got me a big insight into what's like renting apartments and stuff and how much that costs and all the fees with that. And it just made me realize like how lucky I am because I still live with my parents at home and I'm just blessed that I don't have to pay rent, utilities. If if, if I'm gonna have a home or not, like that's that's like the biggest thing. Like for a lot of like adults nowadays, it's like, you know, like how are they gonna pay their bills? How are they gonna have a home and stuff? Because like a lot nowadays, it's like the economy is just so bad. Like no one can afford like everything, like the like the basic like groceries or like necessities nowadays. It's hard. Me just like being able to just come on here, um, live at home. Not only that, but like make these videos and stuff. Kind of just in my life be like a little bit of an inspiration to like my friends here, or like just new people like on the channel. It's just, it's just a great insight to feel like, hey, I can be like kind of like that light for someone. I can be like, for like eight to 10 minutes, whether you watch the whole videos or not, I can kind of like take you away from like the real world and kind of like, like bring you into this, like into like my life in a sense, if you know what I mean. I think question number three, is it hard working at Dutch? Uh, when I first started, yes, it was really hard working at Dutch. Oh my God, I think for, it took me about the first six months before I actually like kind of started really getting it down. There's a lot that goes in, like I didn't think there was like a lot that went into the making drinks and stuff like, 
You have to know like how many shots like of espresso go into like a drink, flavor wise, how many scoops, the type of milk for different drinks, uh, and then just different things like mafia style does extra sweet, extra shot, like just all these concepts. It's a caramel macchiato. Like we don't usually make caramel macchiatos, that's the Starbucks way, but we, we do those versions too. Like just random stuff, like just random concepts. Amer Americano, what's an Americano? But yeah, I'd say like after like the first six months, uh, I started to get it down. Uh, for me, when I first started, I, I was a big like person that would like make a lot of messes. I was always making a big mess. Uh, always got to clean it up after myself and stuff like that. But kind of after a while, like you have like people there to train you and stuff and kind of guide you. Always ask questions. For me, I'm always learning still. Like even till now, like even just little like basic stuff or like even just like little like kind of shortcuts. You know, like make things faster, but also follow like follow like the rules in a sense, but kind of like, you know, make it easier on yourself. You kind of just learn like, and you kind of learn like speed, you know, like you have like a sense of urgency, but not like feel like you yourself are getting stressed out because you have to be so fast, but kind of like that sense of like, oh, I kind of got to build my speed up a little bit and get better at making these drinks. So you build, get through the line a lot faster. But Dutch Bros has like been like my safe haven and stuff. Like if I could to you guys, I'd recommend working at Dutch. It's a different experience. I mean, not only like, your new coworkers and stuff that like have like the same like drive and energy as you, but me and the customers because you get to meet like the people in your community, people you may like see on the streets or stuff that you may not talk to. You get to talk to them for like 30 seconds or like five minutes out, out the window and just kind of get to know their story. The fourth question is, do you have any like gym like PRs you're going for? Uh, for me, I haven't really had any like big gym PRs. I think after like I graduated high school, I kind of just like stopped working out for a while and stuff so i'm slowly getting back into the gym again um after you gain a lot of weight you kind of like realize like oh shoot you like you need to start losing this weight or it's gonna get big so i think for me um just getting back in the gym uh i i tried to bench 225 a couple days ago and that didn't work out that was like i think that was my last like uh, i think it was 230 230 is my max on bench i think getting back up to 225 um this year is one of my goals for bench um, bringing my weight down to about 170, 175. I think I'm a high like 180s or 190s. Uh, so just going down to 108 pounds um, and just being able to like run for like 10 minutes like on the treadmill or like for like a mile consistently. Like every day I go to the gym. That's like a big goal, getting my cardio in and stuff. Question number five, um, is your Honda Prelude your first car and how many cars have you had? So my very first car that I've had, it was not the Honda Prelude, it was actually a 1993 Buick Park Avenue for you car people out there. Uh, right now what I drive is a 1998 Honda Prelude, really great sports car for the car enthusiasts that know what it's all about and VTEC engines and Honda and stuff. But my very first car was a Buick Park Avenue actually. Uh, I got to drive that for um, a good year and then I got into a BMW 335i X Drive, had that for a little while and then I got my Honda Prelude. But it's a great car. I just got back from the shop. Um, I'll post that video soon with my car vlog. Um, my l last question I have here is what steps did you take to learn editing for videos? Um, the steps I learned was kind of just like watching YouTube. I used DaVinci Resolve for all my editing and stuff. So I just kind of learned to just watch the videos on basic things like cutting, cutting footage, learning where to edit, putting captions on video on the videos in different parts. Um, sounds and music, just kind of filling with that. I'm trying to get better at doing transitions and stuff. Um, kind of like in my last couple of videos, I kind of like don't do like a lot of this where I'm talking to the camera as much. Um, so I'm kind of just learning to just like do a lot more like commentary and stuff and kind of less of like just like me just doing like B-rolls type shots and stuff where I'm kind of just doing other stuff. But like a lot more talking to the camera. That's kind of what I'm trying to get better at and stuff. But yeah, uh, that's kind of like the Q&A video for me. Um, my videos, I'm hopefully do more vlogs and stuff and more cool content, a little bit of movies here and there. I love to like create a car channel and later on once I get my real estate license and I get into real estate, hopefully make like a real estate channel and stuff like that. But for now, um, it's kind of like you get to see like what my life is like and kind of like what it's like in Portland, Oregon. You don't get to hear a lot about some big YouTubers in Portland, Oregon. So I kind of want to be like the start of like uh, one of the big influencers, influencers in Oregon. Um, it may take a long, long, long time, but I'm willing to go for the long ride and um, kind of hope to be like the start of something new. So um, thank you guys, um, uh, new viewers or old viewers for uh, coming back to the channel. Um, stay tuned for more videos and stuff. Um, I always got some new stuff coming up and all that. I get to meet more new people and kind of a great way to network with others. 
But stay tuned for the next videos, um, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, all right?